हे गर्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर ब्लॉग और ये ब्लॉग बिल्कुल हटके है रेगुलर ब्लॉग से क्योंकि इसमें आप लोगों को बहुत सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन मिलने वाले जो कि बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है मुझे जान के बहुत मजा आया तो आप लोगों को भी आई होप जान के मजा आएगा तो बात है कुछ दिन पहले की जब हम लोग कैंपिंग करने के लिए गए थे आप लोगों ने उसकी वीडियो देखी होगी नई देखी है तो ये वीडियो है आप जाके देख सकते हो इस वीडियो को देखने के बाद में तो हमारे ग्रुप में एक सीनियर है उनको एक बंदा मिला अमेरिकन जिसके पास में एक आरवी थी जो की बहुत बड़ी तो उन्होंने उस बंदे से बात की कि हम आपकी आरवी की वीडियो बना सकते हैं अंदर से दिखा सकते हैं कैसी आरवी है क्या फैसिलिटी है कितने की आरवी है और वो अमेरिकन कपल जो है वो कैसे सरवाइव करते हैं क्योंकि वो पूरा साल आरवी में ही रहते हैं उनके पास कोई घर नहीं था कुछ नहीं था तो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी है मैंने वो पूरी शूट की है तो आप पहले उस स्टोरी को देखो उसके बाद में मैं आप लोगों को मिलता हूँ अभी जस्ट हम लोग यहाँ से निकल रहे हैं लेकिन अपने साथ में एक बंदे को एक आरवी वाला कोई तो मिल गया तो उन्होंने उससे बात की है चलो आपको भी दिखाते हैं आरवी क्योंकि मैं भी कभी आरवी में खुद से अंदर नहीं गया हूँ कभी भी वैसे वीडियो वीडियो में तो बहुत बार देखी है Yeah, this is our home. You have the kitchen, living all together. That is like extended or Yeah, they has it has two slides. Okay. So, I mean, you can see where the slide goes out on that side and then the slide goes out on this side. Mhm. Mm and so it extends it. It they'll come in to where it's even with the outside when you're traveling. Okay. And then ours is set up a little bit different than some of the other mm -hmm. campers if you go upstairs. I'm going to shut this. A lot of the RVs that you get When you first come up the stairs, the bathroom is here. Yeah. And then your bedrooms at the back, but ours has the bedroom and it but that goes out as a slide and so does this one, so it makes you a little more room in here. And then we have I'll let you go that way cuz we won't okay. fit. It has a huge bathroom and it has two sinks and a shower and it's got a closet in the front. Awesome. And then there's a washer and dryer behind you. Yeah. Oh. It's a small one, but there's there a washer yeah. and dryer. Yeah. So. But you can use the washer and dryer only when you are on the campsite because you need electricity, correct? Correct. Correct. It won't run off the batteries. Mm -hmm. Cuz some of the lights will run off the batteries. Uh, it has a generator? No, we do not have a generator. It is it it is generator. It's wired for a generator, but we don't have a generator. We didn't get one cuz that's just extra weight that you have to okay. carry around and we carry enough stuff anyway. and but the like the washer and dryer has to have electricity a lot of the stuff does um the refrigerator is a residential refrigerator so there's an inverter in okay, the storage okay, compartment good. below so that when you are traveling it'll run off of the batteries instead of the electricity for we use in the inverter <laughs> campsite We are here until the end of October. We came in at the end of May and we're here till the end of October. Okay. And in October you will be going to the Texas because the weather will be well, nicer. Well, no, we're we are originally from Indiana. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I just had a word with you. Yeah, and there. we moved to Texas. We were down there for 2 years. Mm -hmm. Um we're here until the end of October. Then we actually are staying in Indiana until the middle of December cuz we're getting the axles taken off and getting independent suspension and disc brakes put on to make it travel a lot better and we can't get that done until December. Then when we leave in December, we're going to a state park in southern Georgia. That's our okay. next next hosting is down there. And how much you spend on this big machine? On this one? If you look at retail it's probably about 120. Oh. But yes. that's not what you generally pay for them. <laughs> yeah. You usually get a better deal. But um between the truck and this we probably got close to 200,000. But this is um it's not the highest end RV you can get, but it's one of the higher end ones yeah. because I mean we live in it full time. We wanted something that's going to you know last longer and travel better and that. Mm -hmm. So we put a little more money in it than what mm -hmm. we would. Some RVs have a kind of uh Uh, engine uh, like a we can You drive. have a drivable you have drivables yeah. yes there are three classes of drivables you have a class A which are the bigger ones um they kind of look like more like a Greyhound bus type you know uh -huh. what i'm saying yeah, yeah. um you have class Bs which are kind of like the little van ones mm -hmm. that have living in them and then you got a class C 
um, drivable, which is the ones like where you see the bed coming over the cab. Yeah, okay, uh, just a bulldog uh, uh, Yeah, driver. you'll see, and that's yeah. a bed above there. Those are the class C's. So you have the three drivables. This is called a fifth wheel. Okay. And then you have the travel trailers that hook to the bumper and you pull those. So uh, while driving, you cannot sleep on the bed? Uh, you cannot be in this one in this while one. you're pulling yeah. it. Okay. Correct. The travel trailers and these you cannot. Of course, the class A's, B's, and C's. I mean, you can because you're in, you're contained. But those have slides in them too. So, like on the class A's, you can generally get so far back in them, like mm -hmm. to get to the bathroom, mm -hmm. and that's it. But some of the others, I mean, you can move around. It just depends on the slides and how the slides block where you go. Mm -hmm. But like this one, um, when these two slides come in, mm -hmm. you can't get in here because this slide covers most of that door. Okay. Because like when this slide comes in, it comes to about right here. Mm -hmm. So without putting the slides out, you can't get into this part when we're going down the road anyway. But you mm -hmm. legally can't ride in them. And if you see them bounce around on the road, I don't want to be in one going down the road. That's a very huge <laughs> between the two hundred yeah. K. Between it and the truck, but if you get the drivables, like if you get into the class A's, um, depending on what brand you look at, it you get into some money. And you can get like ours this camper is forty foot long. Um we had one before that was forty four. Oh. But you mm -hmm. can get different links. I mean Do you all also have an internet connection in this camper? Uh we have internet because we have a hot spot. Okay. We pay through Verizon and we have a hotspot and it's separate from our cell phone plans Correct. because we learned the hard way that, I mean, you can get unlimited on your phones, but it's not truly unlimited. And we have a prepaid account for the hotspot. So we have unlimited Wi-Fi on it, which if you go over so many megs, I mean, they slow you down, but you don't even so notice. This is your office? Well, that's my craft area. <laughs> that's our kitchen yeah. table is what my husband will tell you. But yeah, I do crafts and stuff. The table that was there, we took out and replaced it with that one to have more space. So you're uh, preparing food every day mm -hmm. for yourself or you're buying the food from the outside? Mm-mm. Oh. We cook every day. We live so, in it So here time. for the campsite, do you pay monthly? No, we do not. Okay. Um, what camp hosting is, is we basically barter is mm -hmm. basically what it is. We do work for the park and we get our campsite for free. Okay, okay. And okay. so that's why like we're out on the gators and stuff. Um, well, not, it's not a gator, it's a golf cart. Where we were before had a mm -hmm. gator, so I still get them up. But we have a golf cart and we go out and like when you guys leave your campsite, either us or the other camp hosts, we go check the sites, pick up trash, um, you know, take the ashes out of the burn pits, you know, to clean that out. Okay. Um, you know, different people do different jobs. Like, there's one set of camp hosts that clean all the bathrooms in the park. Okay. And so they you do the... work in exchange okay. for your campsite. Campsite. Okay. Yeah. That's a great deal. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun, though. You meet people. Yeah. You know, you get. It gives us something to do because I retired at the end of January, so it gives us something to do to stay busy. So he's a he's a YouTuber. He is going to kind of uh, upload that pictures and videos on our YouTube. Oh, okay. So we just take you to your husband. I hope you are comfortable. Oh, that's okay. I don't care. Nobody will live <laughs> I am anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. We, we do this. We started doing it at the end of January full time because mm. um, we moved from Indiana to Texas. And I finished out my career in Texas and retired at the end of January. But we like it. Mm. It gives us something to do. Okay, thank you so much. You're very oh, welcome. Good day. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. So yeah, RV Kariban. एक लाख बीस हजार डॉलर की थी और उसके बाद भी उन्होंने उसमें कुछ आइटम लगाए होंगे तो चलो एक लाख बीस हजार भी मैं यदि मानता हूँ तो भी करीबन ऑलमोस्ट नब्बे लाख रुपए की थी करोड़ी मान लो इतनी महंगी आ रही मतलब कि यार बहुत लेकिन लेकिन थी भी यार चीज ऐसी थी ना बहुत सही चीज़ थी तो ये थी आर के बारे में सारी डिटेल्स जो एक कपल थे उन्होंने अपना पूरा घर बेच के ये आर खरीद ली और इस आर में भी वो पूरा साल रहते हैं करीबन छः महीने सात महीने वो इसी एरिया में रहते हैं इंडियाना में और जब यहाँ पे स्नो और ठंड आ जाती है तब वो दूसरे एरिया में चले जाते हैं जहाँ पे स्नो और सर्दी नहीं होती है तब वो वहाँ पे जाके ऐसे कोई कैंप साइट ढूंढते हैं और वहाँ पे रहते हैं और वहाँ पे उन कैंप साइट वालों के लिए काम करते हैं और जिसके बदले में उन्हें फ्री में स्पेस मिलता है रहने के लिए ऐसे ही वो यहाँ पे करते हैं ये सारी डिटेल्स उन लोगों ने शेयर की मेरे को बड़ा मजा आया जानकर आई होप आप लोगों को भी बहुत मजा आया होगा जानकर आप लोगों को सबसे बेस्ट पार्ट क्या लगा आपके मन में जो भी है कमेंट में लिख डालो और वीडियो को लाइक करना बिल्कुल मत भूलना तो इस वीडियो को यहीं पर खत्म करते हैं लेकिन वीडियो को लाइक जरूर करके जाना और यदि आप चैनल पर नए 
नए हो तो सब्सक्राइब करके रख लो और बेल आइकन दबा लो क्योंकि जो आने वाले ब्लॉग हैं वो शिकागो के आने वाले हैं शिकागो के सारे मेन मेन अट्रैक्शन में आप लोगों को घुमाने वाला हूँ आने वाले दो ब्लॉग में तो इसलिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करके रखो और बेल आइकन दबा के रखो ताकि आपको सबसे पहले नोटिफिकेशन आएगा और आप सबसे पहले वीडियो देख पाओगे और जो भी बंदा सबसे पहले कॉमेंट करेगा शुरू का पांच कॉमेंट में से जो मुझे बढ़िया कॉमेंट में लगेगा उसको मैं पिन करूंगा आज की वीडियो में सिर्फ इतना ही अब मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक के लिए बाय बाय टेक केयर बिल्स एंड नेक्स्ट बाय बूम